I told Josh that I wanted to speak with him. And he said, about what? And I said, I don't know. He said, your career. I've got some news, Josh. I'm being let go. This show is going in a whole other direction. <laughs> Episode three. <laughs> hate to break it to you. Okay. Um, live on air. Could you imagine? That'd be Live on air. Crazy. That would actually be unhinged. <laughs> the last two discussions we've spoken about Black Magic. We got the G2. Then we talked about the Pixis. I thought that we could talk about the breaking news type things that have come up in the world of film production slash virtual production. Okay, technology. hold on. I think I know where we're going today. Yeah. Are we talking about the new Black Magic lens that just was released? Potentially. Is it a lens? Is it a camera? Oh, it's a camera. It's a camera. And isn't it, doesn't it have something to do with Apple? Yeah. Crazy thing. WWDC Apple event came out and they decided to announce this camera and it was a partnership, essentially, a partnership of some kind with Blackmagic. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was a partnership or if it was just announced that Apple supported Blackmagic in this, but essentially Blackmagic has created a camera and a lens meant for immersive filmmaking. For the Vision Pro? For the Vision Pro. It's the first camera to ever actually be able to create content for the vision pro Ooh, specifically okay yeah how does it work so from what i understand there are two lenses on it okay i saw that okay it's like a vr camera almost so last time i had paper i got my laptop now so we're gonna dive into that the amount of windows you have open is criminal. i don't want to talk about it. i've got multiple monitors a lot of emails don't look don't look okay so it looks like a headset this is it okay reddit went off reddit thinks this camera is absolutely bonkers in yeah. a weird way. Yeah. Okay. But also, who wouldn't think it's bonkers? It looks like we're almost reverting back to a day and age where they had 3D movies. Yeah. When they were filming like two cameras at once to try and create, you know, the red and blue. Dual vision. Yeah. Yeah. Which has been done before. Remember Spy Kids 3D? Exactly. How could we forget? Spy Kids 3D. How come for some reason I think Stuart Little 2 was 3D? Is that real? No way. Stuart Little 3D. No. No, no chance. <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, we're going, it looks like we're taking a step back in time. That's what I mean. So let's read what they've got published about this lens so far. Okay. Here's what I know. It can go on a drone. The resolution per eye is 8,160 by 7,200. It has 16 stops of dynamic range, which is better than both the Pixis and the G2, I will say. Right. 90 frames per second mm -hmm. and stereoscopic 3D immersive cinema content. And that's about all they've talked about. Literally, they could talk They about didn't how share the details about the device other than it's designed to capture content for Apple Vision Pro. Yeah. How it works, no clue. There's a little antenna that's on the camera. Connect that to the Apple Vision Pro. It does have a flip rotating screen. Hopefully it rotates all the way for It doesn't Josh's matter because you're going to be on the Apple Vision Pro. Well, you got you multiple assume. windows going. Do you think you could Just film like it? you. Whoa. Ouch. <laughs> you think you can use the Apple Vision Pro as a viewfinder when you're filming? Okay, that's what I thought. And I think that's what the antenna is for. I think basically no way. you're wearing the Apple Vision Pro holding this camera and your viewfinder is just like this little thing that floats in front of your face. No way. Uh -huh. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Blackmagic said it's also releasing an update of its DaVinci Resolve video editing app with changes coming for creating on the Apple Vision Pro. So here's the crazy thing. They're saying, Blackmagic is saying that DaVinci is being launched as the only program that can edit Wait. immersive video. On an Apple product? Correct. See you later, Final Cut. Yeah. That's interesting pretty that's pretty crazy right so i don't know this is interesting because it says it'll allow editors to do uh, immersive like pan tilt and roll clips on 2d monitors like never before right oh one more here apple showed off the new lens canon is working on for the r7 camera at wwdc as well the 7.8 millimeter yeah. oh my that bug eye literal F fish eye hell <laughs> dedicated spatial lenses to be meant to capture content for the apple vision pro while well, the brand has previously released lenses for virtual reality it's said that none of its current cameras are fast enough to offer video that matches apple's headset yeah. so we're talking frames per second there correct yeah 
right? Yeah. Like at high resolution. Didn't Canon, weren't they the DSLR company that was like, we can shoot 300 frames per second, 4K, and then their cameras lit on fire? Ooh, R5. Wow, yeah, you're right, they did. They did. I mean, shout out to Canon. I love them. But this is the lens they're Sony talking guy. about. I'm a Sony guy. This is the lens they're talking about here. So wait, hold on. No, because that what we're saying is Apple, Apple's ecosystem is too fast for Canon. So Canon's going to have to work on the hardware side. All right. Let's just give a recap of the release. Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, Tim Cook here. What's up? We got a brand new product coming out for the Apple Vision Pro. It's called a camera see you next time that was it yeah let's see what reddit had to say because like reddit reddit didn't like it and i had a couple of reddit posts that i was looking at and need more study. info yeah. i agree with you need more info we need to see more black magic put out an official release um it wasn't filled with anything really at all uh and then everyone was going crazy about oh we've been here before oh i can't believe we're going back to the 3d stages blah blah blah, blah. 3D mm. is back again, in brackets, again, <laughs> right? I've, I've had my red and blue glasses ready for this moment. Like everyone just went off on how goofy this looks. Right. You know? I think it is crazy, the ask for this. So basically they're saying, hey, we're creating, I mean, I don't know, I'm assuming that the antenna connects to the Apple Vision Pro because they're talking about it so much, but I could be wrong. Okay, I mean, that could also just be like output. To make content for an Apple Vision Pro, you also need an Apple Vision Pro, which I understand Apple is trying to make the standard of spatial computing. There's just too many pieces that need to be put together for this to be realistic or feasible at this point. Maybe I'm Microsofting myself right now. Maybe in a year from now, we're going to look back at this clip and think, wow, idiot. I mean, you like to say that, that you're going to Microsoft yourself. So it's very, know. it's a good way to cover yourself. It is a great way to cover yourself. The iPhone eventually will get to a good point where you can film good immersive content and maybe this is just overkill but what i like about it is that apple approached an indie filmmaking company which i thought was cool to mm. bring it to a semi-professional and indie level i think that's cool to try and get immersive content fully in the other direction right but at the same time for argument's sake if i went on to chat gpt and said create me a camera that looks like it would film immersive content you know what it reminds me of actually stay on the star wars theme um do you remember, I don't remember his name, but the villain from Spaceballs who is like the Lord, the Darth Vader adjacent? <laughs> like knockoff Darth Vader. Yeah. Yeah. Look at it. Hold yeah, on one hold second. On. I could see it. They're right here. Yeah. Floating. I could see it. Dark Helmet. His name is Dark Helmet instead of Darth Vader. I'm sorry, Spaceballs fans. I forgot. Wow. <laughs> that is, I don't know how you, where you pulled that from, but I did not think about that <laughs> Alex. at all. Put the new camera on top of Darth Vader's head right here. Yeah. That is funny. I asked ChatGPT to create me an image of a camera that looks like it will be able to create immersive content. This is what I changed. Mm. Yeah. What if I said, make it more focused to indie <laughs> filming? I love watching ChatGPT think. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm there with you for that one. I don't like it. I think it's funny. I'm like a pretty anti chat GPT guy. <laughs> it literally just when it's <laughs> when Austin said make it more indie, he just it just gave us a DSLR. Make it have Yeah, make it a dual lens. Make it a dual lens. It put two lenses on the one. It put two lenses on top of a Pixis. Hey, yeah, it did. It did put two lenses on top of a Pix Pixis. What is the craziest thing that this camera could do? Because at this point, we don't know anything that can be done on the Apple Vision Pro that isn't made by Apple. I know, but it's it's smart, though, because they're opening the door to like other people. Like today they announced, basically, they put out like 20 of their like plugins, Apple did, okay. that they develop and just said, here you go. Developers, go ham. Enjoy it. Right. Because they want everyone to be able to create for the Vision Pro. I think so they want to that... make everything open source. Okay. Which is pretty smart. Or. Okay. They want someone else to develop some code for their system. Then possibly. they'll do the classic, oh, that's a good idea, yoink. I mean, that's always a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I picture it in my head. If I picture what this lens lenses do, <laughs> <laughs> um, both of them are 7.8 millimeters or something like that. You got a super wide field of view, but obviously you're punched in because it's in the Apple Vision Pro. So you're watching a video 
and you can just kind of go like this. Like you can look to the corners of the screen. It's not 3D or at least like true 3D, right? Listen, Apple, we're used to big presentations. We're used to blowing our minds with what's next. You don't need to rush the announcement to the 3D just because it's the Vision Pro. No, I was going to say, I do want to see more. more innovative tools that might be used for them. Yeah, you'll like literally never catch me outside wearing a Vision Pro. Would, would, we, would we catch you inside wearing a Vision Current Pro? version? Probably not. Give me some cool updates. I might try one on. Mm, that'd be a good video next to Go through every feature on the Apple Vision Pro. Yeah. And tell you why you should buy one why you should buy an apple vision pro i haven't even put one on nor have i i'll try one on i'll try one on i've heard everyone who puts on the pro is like this is so cool and then they take it off and they're like yeah <laughs> microsoft and myself again finish with the clip of the ceos of microsoft dancing and that's the end bye